Hi guys, it's uh, Flat Top Clueless once again with the third and final part of the uh, the Mikula Triple IPA Zero 1000 and 3000 IBU uh, video series. Um, not gone anywhere near as to plan as I'd want. And um, yeah, up until this point, some of the weakest beers that I've had from Mikula in a hell of a long time so uh yeah we're topping well we're finishing this series off with the 3000 ibu ipa and uh, we're also going uh up to 15.5 percent in terms of abv um yeah let's just get the beer opened and see what we get using my uh magic rock glass for this one so let's pour it and see what we get if you've not seen the two previous videos then uh, I do welcome you to check them out before you carry on watching this one because I upload them all on the same day okay so a beer in the glass then and it's actually looking more like a beer compared to the other two um, glass could do with a little bit of a proper clean but oh well it's got a sticky bottom for some reason um, insert your own joke there so beer in the glass then and it's got that sort of chestnutty amber sort of burnt sunset look very malty looking uh, compared to the 1000 IBU pretty much looks the same uh, but of course um, I poured away the zero IBU version crystal clear beer poured with just shy three fingers of um, a very soft off-white head so up until this point, bitterly, bitterly disappointed with these beers. So anyway, let's see what we get on the nose. And hopefully we can finish on a high. But if not, so be it. Really not getting absolutely anything on the nose. It's just musky head. That's all it is. There's no like strong flavours trying to come through that compact head. Maybe a subtle buttery biscuity sort of maltiness. Let's see what we get out of the can. Oh god that smells potent. You definitely smell the 15.5% ABV in the can. Don't understand how they've ramped up the ABV. Because I thought it was only like the, the sugars that the yeast consume that creates ABV. But um, yeah, 3,000. Oh, I don't know. I've, I've not finished any of the beers up to this point and I feel lightheaded. I feel woozy. I was actually planning to go to Northern Beer Temple tomorrow. And then go to Tesco's and get stuff because I really want to cook. But I've got a feeling, even though I won't be drinking that much, I'm going to feel like shit tomorrow. It's such a weird thing, isn't it, alcohol? I can, like, do a bottle share of MP Stouts and feel somewhat okay the next day. But I'll drink something else in a lesser quantity. But I'll feel absolutely horrid. I think it's personally down to the, the yeast content um, that really affects me. Um, with hangovers and feeling shit the next day. I might have like a problem with, you know, gluten. I don't know because uh, if you've ever experienced me the day after, you know that um, you're not hearing a plop in the toilet. You are hearing a fucking water fountain. And that's way too much information. Anyway, so just nothing there's nothing i'm not smelling anything on the nose let's give it a taste cheers oh wow will you taste that 15.5 percent abv it's not boozy it's just rarely you know, alcohol sweetness. Wow. That is... 
That's potent. Mm. Oh, that doesn't taste nice at all. Oh, that's horrible. That is legitimately horrible. Fucking hell. Oh. It's like you've got ethanol, but you've put loads of syrup in there to make it sweet. And it doesn't feel anywhere near as bitter as the 1000 IBU. Oh, that's, uh, that's not good. That is legitimately not good. That's when you take this way too far. That's probably the most undrinkable beer that Mikola have ever done for me. And I'm comparing this to like, you know, styles like the Saisons and Belgian ales that I don't like stylistically. Ah. Oh no, this is awful. Mm -mm -mm. No way. That is not right. That really is not right. Oh. No, man. That is... That's the worst of the bunch. It really, really is. And there's 500 mils of that. Oh, I don't know. This had the makings of being a really good, you know, lesson for your palate and your taste buds and the science behind beer. But this is just, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, I genuinely don't like that. It's just boozy, but it doesn't have the harshness. It's like sweet boozy, but you're tasting the alcohol more. Mm. No, that, that's... That's like... If you look back in the day to the early roots of the Clueless Drinker channel... I said that Excelsior Lager from uh, Lidl, Germany was the worst beer ever. I poured that straight out on camera because that was just awful. I think this might be, quite frankly, the worst beer that I have had the unfortunate experience of tasting there's just nothing nice at all about that and I shudder to think that people really really enjoyed this beer which if you did fair enough I'm not going to judge different strokes for different folks but that is quite frankly I think that's the worst beer that I've reviewed on the channel I dislike the taste so much, I want to have a cigarette to get a nice flavour in my mouth. That is mental. That is mental how just undrinkable it is. It's not, not good at all. Not for me. That is like ultimate not for me. No, I don't drink any more of it. I really do not want to drink any more of that. That's a real shame because this could have been, you know, a really good series. That could... Great for people trying to get into this soul sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I think for me personally, this is a massive, massive misfire uh, for Mikola. Am I going to sit here and say, I'm never drinking a Mikula beer again? Fuck no, because I know what they can do. And this just is not... 
not good at all. And it's really quite annoying that this made up three beers in one beer club box. And I can't believe... <laughs> I feel so, so sorry for people who bought these three beers. Because, as I said in the 1000 IBU review... It, it wasn't really annoying me too much because the other beers in that box more than made up for it. If I remember the beers that were in the box. But do you know what I mean? It's like... I get to get, you know, the beer club blend. I've got Cascades Bean to Barrel Triple. You know, I've got the Sour Cellars Flaxation. The Erdegurs with Boone. What have we got here? Grim. Midnight Morning. So, you know, I'm not going to criticise too much because I've had those beers in the Michael Vehicle box. But, yeah, these beers, man. Don't know what the point that was. And don't worry, that wasn't just like me giving you the most stupid, pointless flex ever. Because my beer collection is laughable compared to a lot of people's. But yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated now that three beers. I could have had three different Mikula beers in that one box. I could have had three beers from all over the world. You know, that could have been three Frau Gruber beers. No, that's just, that is genuinely, genuinely bad. I do not like that at all. Let's be a glutton for punishment, be a New York Jew, and just let's hurt ourselves even more. Mm. No, it's so unpleasant. It really, really is. And why do they have to be in 500ml cans? I'm usually really excited about getting, you know, craft beer in 500 mil cans but no just this does not sit well with me and i'm actually really interested to see the feedback on these beers and you know what as i said if you really enjoyed them that's absolutely fine um i'm sure there are beers that i've ranted and raved about and you know taken off my shirt and swung it round you know in the air that most people drink and go what the fuck is this mess but yeah, this is probably, I did not envisage, is that a proper word? I did not envisage this series going down as it did. But um, yeah, I know Mikula could do much better. But again, it's really quite hard to defend this series. So um, if you've been eyeing these beers up, that's my warning. This is a warning. I'm not saying don't buy them because you could drink these and you might just enjoy them massively. But they just, they taste like barley wines and not very good barley wines. Some might argue, well, you got them in, you got them in the August mark. So they're obviously not going to taste as good. They're obviously going to turn into barley wines. It's like, no, no. No, I've had... Really hot forward, double IPAs, um, that three, four, five months later, you're still getting loads of hoppy character. This is just unpleasant. And, um, yeah, the whole series, just not good. Uh, the first two beers, four out of ten. This, to me, gets a one out of ten. Um, it's just not for me. Um... But yeah, I can't stress enough that I'm not going to hate on Mikula. But at the same time, I'm not going to blindly you know, defend Mikula. Um, I just know for a fact that Mikula can do much better than this for my palate. And uh, yeah, so 1 out of 10. Never thought I'd give a Mikula beer a 1 out of 10, but it's happened. So um, yeah, if you've been interested or if you've tried this before, I'd love to hear your thoughts, opinions. Um, I'm already feeling really... I've not even drank that much, but it's really getting to me right now. And I'm really, really glad that I didn't take these to the bottle share. 
in December uh, because I can now take three other beers, probably three of the beers they just saw me, you know, shilling out um, from the drinks cabinet. God, it's 7.25 and I feel like I've been on an all-day bender. 7.25, Jesus, that's mental. I really want to have another beer to, you know, make up for this. Uh, I'm going to have a cigarette first, just to get the taste out of my mouth. Mouth. Just to get the taste out of my mouth. You know what I mean? Oh my God, it's it, this doesn't taste that good, to be honest with you. Just want to get the taste out of my mouth. It's ridiculous, man. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, not Mikla's finest moment, but I'm sure you'll be seeing reviews that more than make up for this. So, overall, it could have been a really interesting experiment, but I'm not even getting that angle of a 0 IBU, 1,000 IBU, and 3,000 IBU. That 3,000 IBU, why does it have to be 15%? You just, that's all you taste is just... Like unrefined sweet alcohol, and it's uh, just not nice at all. But I said there are some people who might have like fallen head over heels with this series, and you know, fair play to them. Who am I to judge? Anyway, so that was my uh, Mikola trio of triple IPAs uh, one at zero, one at 1000, and one at 3000 IBU. Has it worked for me? No, and um, yeah. If you've had a different experience, made a horrible noise as a breathed then, then I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.